Well, 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 back to the Spencer Mansion. This time with Christopher. And I have the... Yeah, sure. And I have the best gift for this. I have the best thing ever. Do the funny. Check this out. Excellent. Thank you, CJ. Well, I don't have a team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest. I don't have a quick button for CJ. Searching for the helicopter of our compatriots. I'll do the same intro, but this time three stocks or whatever. No, I cannot see anything. Friend is dying. Oh, oh. I mean, the same intro. It's just Chris Tolkien. It's Christopher. There are only three stars members left now. <gasps> Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. Yeah, Wesker doesn't exist. We don't know uh, Barry, I mean. Is. Barry is fine. Is everyone all right? Barry. Where's Barry? He's... No. Oh. <gasps> what was that? I'll go and check it out. All right. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. Okay. Cool. Chris. Take care. Yeah. Okay. Okay, round two from this one year stream celebration. Whatever. Christopher time. Time to have like less inventory space. And no battery. That's the worst part. There are blood stains on the floor. Codes didn't come from your friends. Oh damn! This, this is the worst part of Chris. No Barry. That's it. Now you have Rebecca, but hey, that's not Barry. Okay, what's happening here? Uh, this is, I'm probably skip a few things that are the same. So this is the same, but I like this one really, really much because I am forced to speak about how I ran away from the room when I saw this. Oh shit. Later, idiot. I see you later. So here's the thing with Chris. No inventory space. <laughs> That's the whole point of Chris. So probably one of the best ways to play him, at least how I usually play him. I just ran around without that many items. Weapons and healing items, I mean. Wesker? Jill? Where did they go? Go. Thanks, free gun. Okay, so that's that's it. Let's keep let's keep going with the adventure of the celebration. Let's get free item. Free defense item. Yeah. Dagger. The other one is the, the grenade. Zombies! They are real! Oh shit, he's speaking. Oh shit, okay. Nice item, nice of item. I mean, if you dodge him, you have a free, a free dagger. I mean, that's better than the what happened with Jill. I just. He beat me from behind. <laughs> If you get beat from behind, no clean items for you. And yes, I don't even know why I checked that door. Okay. So the way I usually play Chris, at least on the remake, and is just run around without weapons and items. But there's another thing with Chris. This is a difference with Jill. He, run, he runs faster and he has more health than Jill.
This is one of the coolest camera angles in the franchise. Hey! So yeah, just expect me running around with nothing. <laughs> running around naked in the mansion, just tanking zombies. You wanna beat me? Then bite me. I'll take this, like, sure. Sure. So yeah, back once again with the one year since the first offer stream. Wait. The idol still don't know the trick how to the trick to go through the stage really fast. I, I, I really want to learn that trick. Like you just fly through the stairs. It's it's amazing. To get that triple green herb. Play the radio. Oh. I mean, having more health, you really feel that kid has more health against hunters. He really tanks hunters really well. Oh. Okay, whatever. He, he didn't even bother to bite me. Wait. I didn't unlock the second floor, so. Wait, I did. I played this yesterday. I think I, I already messed up. Or maybe not. Ole. Dude! Ole! <laughs> Sorry, it's in my blood. It's in my blood. <laughs> okay, cool. I mean, I, I know I would love to speedrun this game. I really like this game. And it's really fun to play. It's it's really fun to run around. Oh yeah. Also, Chris, give me a headshot. We didn't got any headshot with you. Give me one. Where are the headshots? Oh, he's dead. Take that. Also... Yeah, I think Chris attacks faster. Oh, he has a different knife animation than Jill. And I think it's faster, and you do a little bit more damage with the knife. Because this is a different knife. Bye-bye! Just invade the mansion, and destroy furniture. Chris, you are a... You are the ultimate prankster. Okay, whatever. Let's just let's just bully this zombie that I like to knife to death. Running in circles around him on the stairs. And that's it. Hey buddy, come here. There's something to do. I want to tell you something. Take that. <laughs> That's you. That's how you guys sound. Oh, watch out. I'm gonna get puked. He's dead. He just... <laughs> Let's see if I can get this shotgun ammo without getting... beaten. Hey, you. Can I get the item? I think I can... I can do it. <laughs> so this is where the... 
This is where the go pass on the stairs is is handy. Ooh -hoo. So look look how cool is Chris. I already need a chest. I already need a chest. So most likely I'm gonna get beat right now. I really hope not. Okay, where are you, ugly? You sound really close. Okay, uh, you're not the smartest zombie. You're not the smartest zombie. That's for sure. <laughs> Yeah, so going back to the one year anniversary, it's, it still feels weird that a year has passed already. A whole year. Hey, can I? Can I open this? Oh! Yeah, I need a chest, and this is the closest one, I think. Well, not really. Let, let, just let me take the other way. I always take the same way. Do your thing. Dude, I need you to do your thing. Okay, you know what? You die. Okay. He's still alive. No, he's dead. I swear that because I'm playing on hard mode or something, you don't get headshots. No! <laughs> okay, I think this doesn't work. Okay, this is not working. I, I'm out. I had enough. <laughs> I mean, there are critical heads in the remake, right? Welcome to the key item. Nice. Welcome to Chris Redfield. Two running short on inventory slots. Ow. So this is so many to get down. Why can I just knife? <laughs> yes, I can that, idiot. Oh, I'm getting... I'm getting sandwich. <laughs> okay, that, that, that was something. Never mind. We survive, and that's all that matters. Okay, um, here, here. And now we get items. Hey, hey, hey. Now I have this problem. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to use the old case. I know it's where Gilius uses the lockpicks, but yeah. Later. Okay, whatever you say. Yeah, usually I... My runs with Chris are faster than Jill, Pro probably because since I play Jill first, I have a better idea of where, where I'm supposed to go, or what I'm supposed to do. That, I mean, I, know, I, I don't remember the game. And I don't remember anything, memory bad. And most of the time I play Jill and that's it, when I play like, in the mood. Thank you. Thank you. No. Thank you, guys, sir. 
I might get the shotgun, that's it. It wouldn't be a bad idea to use the small, the small key to get the shotgun already. Because those can be dangerous with with the gun. I think you can stun lock stun lock them with the with the knife. I think. But better safe than sorry. There's a lot exchange service no well. There's no there's a tooth there's a toothbrush. There are toothbrushes. Look, there's a red one and a blue one, right? Nice to see that the zombies worry about their dental hygiene. Oh shit. Poor zombie just wanted to have a bath. Damn. What's a big difference? Chris, don't kill the zombie. He doesn't. But Jill does. And then Jill pukes. Nice. Nice one, Christopher. Yeah, well, I need I need a key item. Okay. There's something I... I most of the time like Jill more because... Barry? I'm not even kidding. I, I really like Barry. Barry Barton. But there's something about running with Chris in this game, just with, just with the knife or without a weapon. It feels really nice, I don't know why. I really like running around with, with Chris. Oh, there's also another thing, like... Oh shit, mamma mia! I just wanted the items. Okay, whatever. Let's go to a fun place. Okay, so no items for me. I don't need items, I have the knife. Now, there's something that I really like about the Chris Ryan animation. Because I'm a sucker with Ryan animations. I don't know why. Uh, running animation is really important for me and the speed and how it feels wait, wait let me get the blue crystal the sapphire whatever it's called like i don't even know why i feel like that with running animations for me they are really important maybe because you are watching them through the whole game blue gemstone so why am I here? I need to go to the upper floor. I don't know, like, I played several of Relic's eggs. I love that game. And I really like the running animation. It was really simple, but I don't know why. I like it. But then Witcher 3, I don't like Gerald's running animation in Witcher 3. He looks weird. I don't know why. It's just... I don't know, dude. I don't like Gerald running. Jerry Riverson. Okay, let's... Let's go to fun places. <laughs> I guess I'll get the shotgun and kill the dog with the... E. This is open, right? Okay, I need progress. I need progress. That's how you sound, yeah, guys. It it looked like this one being this was blah 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 blah. Yeah, Chris, I know he did. I don't know him so much, Chris. And Chris is a cool dude. Wait, there's nothing here. I was expecting a small key or something here. I mean, I can kill the dog with the handgun and the... There's no item here. 
I, I thought it was something like small key or something. Okay, yeah, before going to place, let me use these items. Oh! Don't scare me like that. Oh shit. Yeah, good night, Pideon. That's what you get. Now imagine if you can pull up the dagger. And this is small kid, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's an old. Hey! Okay, never mind. Never mind, let's get the dog with the gun. Nice one, Chris. Why are you obsessed with that dead body? Let me just... Uh... Have one of these. Oh, wait, I didn't got the... Let me get the knife just in case. I'm going too fast. I'm going faster than my urine. And that's no good. I mean, the objective at the end of the day is just beat the game. Which I can do it. I can do it with a knife. I can knife everything. If it bleeds, I can kill. I then got the... I then got the dog whistle. You see, this is what they say. I'm going faster than my brain. Now, big question. What Resident Evil has the best zombie noises? I'm gonna say two because they have really cool noises. They have the roll. Oh! This is what I really like in two that it goes low, something like. Oh! I really like that one. You know the. Oh! <laughs> That I like. Okay, if you like dogs, look away. Look away for a second. You blew the dog whistle. Oh, with my arm, I want to use the knife. Oh, that was a critical hit. Gee, that was a critical hit. But I did... No, no, you, you don't set a fire. But I deserve one of these. You have treated your goons. Your wounds, I'm sorry, wounds. Nice! Nice one, Christopher. You did it. Yes. Press the switch, Chris. Do it. Mm. Okay, let's get the, the important key and then be, back, be right back here. And we're going fast. We're going speed. This is a fake speed run. <laughs> I mean, the reason I... I'm trying to go a little bit fast because I don't want to end the stream at 4 a.m. That's what happened last time. Now watch out with evil zombies. Oh my god. You tried. You tried. Let's see what you got. Oh. Too bad. And you? Oh. <laughs> I love crimson heads. I, I love the idea that if you don't explode a zombie head or burn its body, it comes, comes back 
more powerful than ever. I can speak, I swear. <gasps> I know I'm gonna pick the long route, but it's safer. Imitation of a key, yes. D don't use the original. We need that to play. Yes. I was even thinking, you know, instead of just a simple remake stream, just do a randomizer. I never did a randomizer. Yeah, this is safe. I don't want to fight a, a Crimson Head. Not in the mood right now. I mean, I say like, oh, the next year, like, I don't even know if I'm gonna be here streaming here on YouTube. Streaming in general. I mean, I can always move to Twitch, but honestly, I don't even care. <laughs> it's gonna be the same shit. I'm happy here, I'm fine. Also, quick question, can I open this? Oh shit, buddy. Uh, I think you must perish. Yeah, you know what? You're gonna perish. Where the critical hit exploded? The head, Christopher. Oh, he's dead. And I have one bullet. Oh, this armor key. Oh, no. Oh, wait, I have the armor. Okay, never mind. Absolute buffoon. I think there's a small key in here. So you can get the shotgun. I think Chris has... Okay. Also, yeah, he has like, one extra zombie because Chris is... Fuck you, Chris. Yeah. Who wants a shotgun? A fake one. Mm, Chris, you are a... Uh... <gasps> Not interested, buddy. Now you are sandwiching. Until you do the... Now, the thing is, I would like to have the, the lighter. Because I'm not a big fan of... Oh, wait, is there something here for Chris? I know I need Rebecca, don't worry. I should get Rebecca here already, just to save time. This is the same item as always, right? Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay. I think it's just like five minutes or something, or maybe you just need to get to far away from the mansion, far away from her where she's playing piano. I don't even know. And that's fine. Let's get in here first. Okay, never mind. I played the game yesterday. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> Spoopy. Okay, let's get a few items in here. Because now Rebecca is gonna make me go to a... To a chest. Let's get this mask, and then I want the handgun bullet too. <gasps> Can I play? Oh, what just happened? Oh, that's very cool loading screen. Ah, uh, this never happened before.
Nice. What is happening? PC dying, I guess. It's a bad case of bad PC. Classic. Okay, I'm I'm alive. Don't worry. It was a <laughs> it was a bad case or bad PC. I think it's everything back to normal. Very good. Okay, can I play? Thank you, Christopher. That's part of the hard mode. Sometimes you PC die. Sorry. I don't even know what happened. But yeah, that was... I don't even know. Who even cares? That's the point. Who even cares? It's just... That made me lose the time. A mysterious box. Thank you. Nice. Now let me get the um, handgun clip. And then we'll help our friend. <laughs> Wait. Okay, never mind. Absolute Duke Master. Thank you. Dude, and they didn't check me? Dude, they know how to play chess? I don't believe it. I can just say yes to Rebecca and go where I need to. Like, she's sending me to a chat, so... Yeah. So let me do this. Nice. Hello. Oh my god! It's Resident Evil Zero! Chris Redfield, Alpha Team. We're here to rescue you. Richard! What the hell happened to you? Chris, this place. Get your team out of here. Demons everywhere. Don't talk. He seems to have been bitten by a poisonous snake. But the size of the bite mark is huge. It's not just any ordinary snake. <laughs> Take my word for it. He needs serum. I left it in another room. I'll go get it. Please hurry. Hold on. I'll be back. Well, I said she's Resident Evil Zero, but let me tell you something. I'm not a big fan of Resident Evil Zero. <laughs> like, it, cool map. Like, the game is fine, kind of, but it's just, there's so many things I don't like. Like, there's no chest. You throw everything to the floor. <laughs> and then... You need to carry the crossbow everywhere. And then every, you only have six spaces per character. Every character has the same lots as Chris. Well, so that's a lot of, of 12 without chests. And there are so many things like... Uh... Well, the game has cool ideas. Also, I'm not a big fan of the monster. Like, most of the monsters are just bad inset, but big. Which, I mean, you can kind of apply that here. It's like, bosses are snake, but big. Shark, but big. Um, you can stay here. You two can stay here. Plant, but big. Snake, but big. Shark, but big. Okay, I guess I'm an idiot. But I don't know. I think 
the snake shark and plant are cooler than centipede and bat also the bad boss fight in resident evil zero it's it's so bad it's just oh it's so bad it doesn't make any sense it's surreal of how bad it is like i the first time i played the game i got stuck there because i got rebecca in there also rebecca and zero you it's rebecca and billy of course billy is a lot better with any kind of weapon he shoots faster and there's less recoil yeah. So I got Rebecca against the bat, and it was terrible. I got barely healing items, and then there's an, one hell of an auto aim. It's terrible. Everything is so bad in that fight. It makes me want to puke. So it's like, it's, it's not like I dislike the game, but it's like, ah. Uh, I'd rather not. Hope this is what you wanted. Thank you. I'm going to give you a shot now, Richard. Hang in there. Here, take it. It's a radio. Take care of yourself, Rebecca. <gasps> Richard. No. He's okay. He's just unconscious. Rebecca, it's not safe here. Let's get Richard to a safer place. Right. Nice. Exactly where he wants to go. Richard's doing well, Chris. He should recover soon. Good. Richard needs you now. As soon as Richard gets better, we'll come after you. Rebecca, you okay with the gun? Yes. <laughs> All right. I'm going to continue my investigation. Be careful. Okay? Yeah. Yes. Okay, Rebecca, I forgot that thing. I forgot that good bike is. No, I'm kidding. I forgot the no. The chest, Chris. The chest. All sorts of medical supplies. I could pretty much treat any wound. Want me to treat your wounds? No. No, I'm okay. But if something should happen to me, I'm counting on you. No problem. But we're very short on medical supplies, so take care of yourself. I'm really happy that Rebecca going to, got into Dead by Daylight. Mainly because I love Resident Evil 1 and I love these characters. And it's a shame there's no berry in, Resident, in Dead by Daylight, but oh well. At least we got Rebecca. The forgotten characters. I see has the, her own unique game called Resident Evil Zero that I just said I don't like it. But yeah, I mean, it's cool. It's fine. That's some old furniture. Chris, grab the grenade, you jackass. No, I don't need that right now. I should save the game. I haven't saved yet. Also, I, did, I, I need the lighter. Okay, can call me an idiot, but I completely forgot where the lighter is. Cool, control disconnected. What is happening with the control? Please! Why is this a thing? So I don't... I think it's the PC more than the controller, I think. Okay, please. No more shenanigans. Nice. Good. Yes, Chris, good. Hey, grenade. Grenades are, are cool because you insta kill a zombie. I, mean, I think I need the lighter to get the party tour. But for some reason, oh, hey. For some reason, my brain completely forgot where the lighter is.
I played this yesterday and I completely forgot what the lighter is. That's a good play. We're going to go back now. Oh my god! Oh shit, okay, you're dead. Okay, we need that, like, right now. Wait, the grenade doesn't explode? I need to shoot the grenade. Never mind. Oh my god! Later. Okay, I need the chest right now. Small keys are really important with Christopher. I cannot wait for these guys to become crimson heads. And obliterate me, pulverize me. Pulp me. No. Want me to treat your wounds? No. I choose death. No. I choose death. Yeah, you're gonna stay there. You're only gonna save just in case. Hello. Wait, is that you, Cuyo? I cannot see name. I cannot see name because of the chat. Yeah. Hello. What up? Let me let me do the trick of the cell phone stream just to see names and such. To see actually see the chat. How are you doing today? The celebration continues as you as you can see. This time with Christopher. Now she did just have to hit the fan. I think it's about to get wild. I'm doing great, as you know. The celebration. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, it's, I call it celebration. I call it celebration to call it some, somehow. To call it something. I'm doing all right, but the problem is I forgot where the lighter is, so... <laughs> That's the problem right now. Rest in peace. Everything else is fine. Yeah, Chris, grab the mask. I'm gonna just... Yeah, let's get a few ones, why not? Pentacle monster, yeah, this is the... The guardian of the plants. And the mask. Total domination, why not? Okay, where was the lighter? That's the... <laughs> right now, where is the lighter? Oh my god! Oh, not interested. Oh yeah, small key, we need that. We need the small key. Okay, I think I remember where the lighter is. Oh! Okay, that zombie is... He's not doing his job right now. Are you okay? Okay, that's the word zombie! <laughs> He's not getting paid enough. And that guy just bad at his job. Okay, I think I know where the lighter is and that's where I'm going. 
Nice. I mean, I tend to go fast in order not to fight in the sides because I don't want the stream to end at 4 a.m. That's why I'm just running around with a knife, <laughs> fighting nothing. Also because, you know, less inventory spaces. Oh, that's a helmet, you idiot. Where's the light? <laughs> um, genuine question. I completely forgot where the lighter is. Good, good memory. I beat the game yesterday. I already forgot a key item. Hello, forest. Do you have a lighter forest? No. Oh. Do you have a lighter, buddy? Forrest has given up the ghost. It looks like he's been dead for a while. But I'm not gonna take her forest, so I don't I'm not going there. But what if the lighter is there with Chris? No, there's it's not there. <laughs> um Okay, I think I know where the lighter is. To the only, only room I haven't been yet. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Good memory. Mastermind. Absolute master. Oh shit. I don't want this. Okay, cool. Amazing. But for some reason, I have a memory that it was here, but I think it was here in the original. Beat the game. I beat the game yesterday, by the way. Nice. Hey, nice use of old key. We need old keys in the, with this man. Now, this is a really important change in this cutscene. Because Jill struggles with the with the bee. She, she's like, please don't hit me. <laughs> she says that to the bee. Chris just smashes the bee against the floor. Okay, we need the Magnum, boys. We need the Magnum. <laughs> Check this out. No, no, not that thing. He just grabbed the beer and smashed it to the ground. Look. <laughs> That's it. Okay, it's alive. Jill just... It struggles, he's just like pushing the bee. He just don't give a shit. He's just yeah. Jitted the bee against the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Honest question, where is the light? <laughs> I completely forgot. Are you the light there? No. I absolutely forgot where the lighter is.
Well, I guess I, I find it eventually, I guess. I mean, you need the lighter to get the party to, right? Okay, nice 180. Because you have one small key. Okay, it's not here, that's for sure. Okay, now I feel like a dumbass right now. Okay, whatever, let me find the lighter. What can I say? I don't even know. Oh, there's no zombie now. Holy. And now we have cool items because Wesker is a really cool guy that will never betray us and become the main antagonist of the franchise. Never. I stay here. Um. Well, who wants to walk around this mansion? <laughs> well, I guess I can. I can get the mask. I can get the the real shotgun and the mask now. I that I'm on it. I mean, how about the shotgun ammo? I can just... I mean, if I have the same luck as yesterday, I'm not gonna... I'm barely gonna blow zombies' head. Zombies' heads. You know what the worst part? I haven't. Well, let me check the map. What the lighter can be? What if there's no lighter? It's impossible. There's no lighter. Like what's the, what? I think it's really unfair. You cannot burn zombies so that's probably my brain that's probably my brain not not working how it suits a nice controller dead again what is happening i swear if i die again because controller dead maybe but no it's not bug it's just i don't remember what it is can i have the controller please thank you I mean, the thing is, well, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure you need the lighter to get the party tour, so you can play the piano. Well, Rebecca can play the piano in this case. Thank you. It's one of those cases of bad memory. <laughs> but I'm seriously I'm thinking what it could be because I have always I have this problem because I always for some reason thinks oh this starts with the lighter but this is not Resident Evil 2 I swear I have ignored in some room It has to be in a room that I completely ignore or something. Okay. I have a shotgun. Like the intro. Um. Well, at least I'm making progress somehow. Okay, 
What if is the lighter never existed? What if the lighter is the friends we've made along the way? That's what I'm thinking. You know what? I'm gonna check out the, this. Maybe you don't need the lighter. Maybe that's just to get the extra ammo. Now, this is not celebrating the, the anniversary of the first stream. Now, we are celebrating... What is the lighter? We're celebrating lighters. I'm going, I'm going like this. Whoa! Oh, shit! I'm scared that every time a zombie bites me, the controller dies. So we have a tragedy, like last time. Okay, I don't care. Okay, let's see. So maybe the lighter is optional, but I think you no, know, I think you need it. To get the party too. Caution, okay, I can fix that real quick. Just eat an herb. You know, when I was a kid, I always thought the characters ate the herb. Like raw, just eat the plant like a cow. It was when I become a, a human being with a brain that I realized maybe they just put the plant in the injury. And that's it. Wait, that makes a lot more sense. You come here, what? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, screw you. Nice. Now. Moment of truth. Do I need the lighter? You are human. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. That was the big reveal in the de Red Dead Revolver. I'm either a monkey or a cowboy. The biggest lie. But it's... it's it's too dark to see much of anything. I think it's gonna say the same here. Okay, I need the light there. Nice one, buddy. I feel like an absolute degenerate like, right now. Looking for a lighter. I don't even smoke. I wanted to go fast, but right now. Um. We think of rooms we need to look for. Is that a helmet key? Now, was that a helmet key or an armor key? That's an R helmet key. Because that's where you get the two U wars. Dude, I, I, I don't want to end the steam at 4 a.m. again. I'm sorry. Fake fun. Fake fan alone, I got it right now. I, 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 I find I found the lighter. Stop everything. Stop everything. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna breathe right now. I'm gonna breathe a little bit. I need I need oxygen in my brain. I need <laughs> I, 
I need oxygen. I need to breathe. <laughs> I told you, I always thought Chris had the lighter, but then I thought it was the only in the original, but it was here all along. And now we have a crimson head, and now we have problems. Move, please. Listen, I found the lighter. That's all that matters. That's, <laughs> that's all that really matters. I found it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the point. I mean, I last time I played this game was last year, but I completely forgot that Chris has the lighter. And I told, I told you, I said that. I said, dude, I, Chris always has the, the lighter. Like Jill has the lockpick, Chris has the lighter. But for some reason, I think, no, he, no. Listen, let's just pretend nothing happened, okay? Let's just pretend. Nothing happened. And I found the lighter. Like, oh, dude, I just arrived. Good thing I have the lighter. It's a key item for Chris. Exclusive. I feel like an absolute idiot. Like, I say that that many times. Like, oh, I'm an idiot. Haha, <laughs> I'm such an idiot. This time, I generally feel like an idiot. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Where's the zombie? Oh, yeah, he's in the room. Okay, now I need... No, I need Rebecca to play the piano. While I do... Whatever. Oh, so this room is now dangerous. I think I need the... I need to use the shotgun di diplomacy. Ooh! Okay, that's shotgun diplomacy for you. Oh my god, that's that has to be one of the stupidest moments I had in my life. Playing at least playing video games. Like, oh, where's the lighter? Where's the lighter? And then I go to the guide and it says Chris has the lighter in every single difficulty in his inventory. Like, right, what? Yikes. That's um That's reason enough to delete the the stream. And delete the YouTube channel. Just, just delete everything. Delete absolute everything. Oh, nice. Now we have some heads here. Oh, I'm fine. We really need to get the question asked every time. Yes, I, I only need that mask. I only need... <laughs> Oof. Well, I think it'll be fine like this. Maybe I need to... Say something to a few Crimson Heads along the way. Now, what is this Crimson Head? Okay. So can diplomacy this. Don't do it! And I can... I can't high ground. Um, yeah, it's a funny dip. The, the AI of the zombies in the original were, was worse. Like, they hacked the wall for some reason. They walk towards the wall, and they don't move. Well, yeah, they move, but they move towards the wall. It's really weird. I have the high ground, exactly. I have the high ground and a shotgun. Don't do anything weird on again. And now we're gonna have my friend Rebecca play piano. Well, I do nothing because I already did everything I need to. I can get some healing items or ammo or whatever. Because this is something, as I said, I never know if it's time-based or how far away you are from Rebecca playing piano. Oh, nice. I know we have another Crimson Head. 
fix it. I fixed the problem. <laughs> now imagine if I had a light. <laughs> so I could burn the zombies. I could burn. Also, I hate that word in English. We're like B U R N. Like that's pronounced like what? Burn. It's a burn. It sounds like I'm having a stroke or something. Like I'm talking with my mouth full. Now, prepare for piano. He's trying. Rebecca, is that you? It's me, Chris. Rebecca. Is that you? That sounded like Moonlight Sonata. Can you play? Smash her. <laughs> you need to calm down, dude. You seriously need to calm down. Funny enough, there's a piano pass in Resident Evil Zero too, oh, and you that? need Billy to play the piano. My interpretation is off a little. Let me practice for a while. Yes. Yes. Sure. But don't get too carried away. Oh, I won't. So I guess I'll run around and get items or something while Rebecca practice. I always I think it's weird. I mean, Resident Evil series are weird for Resident Evil game. Uh, weird because it doesn't have the normal rules, the regular rules of Resident Evil. But the, Rebecca can't play the piano, I guess because... Well, I guess it makes sense. She, she learns Moonlight Sonata because she practiced the, the song. So I guess it makes sense. Okay, who wants to not 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 do a 180? Get some cool healing items. And don't make me use shotgun diplomacy. There was a zombie coming from here. And we don't have the Resident Evil 2 jumpscare. <gasps> Zombies, they are real! Later. Later, ne oh. Okay, whatever. I don't care. I mean, it's optional. I mean, remember Berry? That's what you get if you play Chris. You don't get Berry with Chris, you get Rebecca. I mean, she can die, but I'm going for the best ending, so that's not going to happen. At least I'm going to try not to. I mean, I think Rebecca can only die once. She just smashed her. I mean, don't worry, after this game, she disappears from the franchise. She's one of those characters that never come back. I mean, she's in Resident Evil Zero, but... Resident Evil series a prequel to this game. And it's it's really weird, man. I mean people like Resident Evil Zero, I'm not one of those. Series not for me. I like that Rebecca is in there. I would like to play Revelations too because I know Barry is in the game. Oh shit! Okay, control is dead. Control is dead? Okay, it wasn't dead, I just got bitter more than usual. Don't try it. I swear, if Chris doesn't... The character doesn't swing the zombie away at the first bite, I'm gonna must wast. Must be very... <laughs> yeah, very is a monster. I mean, one of the reasons I played Resident Evil... I played a lot of Jill as a kid, it's because I love Barry. He was so cool. But I really feel bad, like Rebecca, like Chris is 
Chris has code Ver After Resident Evil 1 He has code Veronica 5, 6, 7, 8 He's like the main character Of Resident Evil In some way And Jill has 3 She's in 5 And that's it really Then you also have The spin-off games Like The Umbrella Chronicles And such Here and there Barry have Revelations 2 Which I know nothing With that game I don't play in Revelations 2 That's all I know and then Rebecca had zero, and that's it. And they have some light cameos in, like, the, mercena the Mercenaries game. Chris! Chris! Hello. I think I got it. Nice. This makes perfect. What's this? <laughs> nice one, Rebecca. Nice one, Rebecca. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot the item. Never mind, Rebecca, with you. <laughs> Listen, we're we practically on one guard house. Door opens, I walk away. Not interesting. You check it. You check the spooky door opening. I need... Okay, whatever. Okay, I don't care. Spooky. So there was a moment in the game where Rebecca asks you if she can come to the guardhouse or I think it was exclusive on the original or here but you can play as Rebecca and I always thought that was really really cool oh my god now I'm in here forever it's, it was a prank don't worry prank it <laughs> Were you all right in there? Yeah. Yeah. What was that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, unless I got one shot by the snake, which I really hope don't happen, we're on our way to the guard house. Yeah. Nice. Okay, let's take hide to the snake. Yes, small right. No, that's not the one I want. I want exactly the other one. I'm out of fine. Yeah. Okay. Let's say hi to the snake and then cat house. Also, you should go to the horny jail. Is that still a thing? Horny jail for you. Okay, John, don't bite me. I don't want any trouble. I just want the mask. That's all I want. Everything else, I don't care. You can take everything. It's your mansion. Do I have? I have none. Okay, nice. Nice. Yes. 
yes, 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 yes. Okay, John. I don't want any problem. Just let me get the mask and get me out of here. I come to bargain. I just... <laughs> Chris is massing everything. That's it. See, no problem. Nothing bad happens. There's no problem. Just give me the mask. And I'll be on my hat on my way. My way. You see? Dialogue. Dialogue, ladies and gentlemen. And now... I want a shotgun before doing whatever I need to do. We need a shotgun. Oh, shit! On do your thing. Oh my god, this is really spoopy. Lay the idiot. <laughs> Smash <laughs> shotgun. I mean, there is a meme with Chris punching a boulder. So technically, he's he's he has smashed boulders. That's canon. That's canon. Gentlemen, I need you to move out of the way. Okay, let me get the um, the masks, and then I, I get one of these, one of these. I don't know if six bullets is more than enough to kill that special zombie, but I'm not gonna risk it. So I'm gonna bring the shot, the the shotgun shells. Yeah. Professional smasher, Chris Redfield. He smashes everything because he's a professional Super Smash Brothers player. I found today a video. YouTube recommended me to be a video, a really cool one. How to jerk off in Super Smash Brothers Melee, forbidden technique. And that was the best thing ever. Are you... Don't try that again. Idiot. I outsmart the dead. Oh shit. Hey. I would love to have Resident Evil Super Smash Brothers. I know there are these spirits in Ultimate. Oh shit. But I mean a playable character. But if that could be difficult because. What's he gonna do? I mean, Chris could be cool. I mean, Chris is playable in Marvel vs. Capcom. In his version of Resident Evil 5. And Jill is playable in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Chris is only in Infinite and... 3. I think it could be cool. Nice, control is dead. What is happening? One of these days I'm gonna... Punch the computer. I'm gonna smash the PC. <laughs> We're gonna smash the PC in every single way. That the worst smash can, can be. I love Super Smash Brothers, by the way. It's my... I say it's my second favorite fighting game. But saying that can be dangerous. People can get really... In, people can get mad when you say Smash Bros. a fighting game. Wait, give me a second. Smash Princess Paint. <laughs> they can't kill me by punching everything. Nice. We need Chris in Mario Kart. Now that's the, the crossover we need. Shit. Okay, this is... Dude! 
You have no nose. Where do you want me to stand? Oh, just in front. Eh? The most in front of. Oh, my God. Professional smasher. Okay. Now time for a sweet shotgun diplomacy. Oh shit! I like this crimson head because he, he has a beard. Oh, he went flying. That's it. Smash the fight for the vine. <laughs> Do it for the buy. <laughs> but the pack is in 2013. I mean, oh well, no, this game is not 2013, this game is like 2006. Chris, stop that track with your naked body for the buying. Oh, nice, I'm a fucking stupid idiot. This is what we call in the professional world a slow run. We beat the game the slowest way possible. I remember I did a slow run. Well, technically, I, I had this job when I played. I went to play Silent Hill 4 with my friends. Because I just said, hey, dude, I, I'm in the mood to destroy Silent Hill 4. Let's, let's beat the game and say, yeah, sure. And my controller died again. Why is this happening? Chris, don't look at me. Oh shit! Oh, now my oh, now now my tummy hurts. Now my tummy hurts. I think I know how what happens. It happens every time I open a door. Maybe it has to do if I alt tap or something. Also, now I need to use a spray because I got beaten. And I have a stomach ache. Don't you even dare. Don't you even dare. Um, okay, we need to get in Ribbon, by the way. I mean, I'm not going to save. But we need to get in, rib in Ribbons. No, 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 we need the Magnus. Yes, yeah, stop right there, Christopher. Christopher Redfield, we need the Magnus. So go back in there and get the emblem. Don't let me see you get out of here. Without the emblem. There you go. Now we are ready to get Magnum. Also, this is broken. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, who wants to take the long way because I'm like playing like shit? Yo, I, I'm going to play really fast because I don't want the stream to end at 4 a.m. Meanwhile, meanwhile, where is the lighter? Where is the lighter? And then, oh, I forgot to open this really important shortcut. Oh shit, what's Christopher! Oh, there's an animation where you smash them against the wall. No, you, you can say that. I Chris just smash the zombie against the wall. <laughs> and I have to go through the dogs. Oh my god. Welcome to the slowest run of Resident Evil Remake. By yours truly. Oh, yeah, I was talking about Silent Hill 4. Yeah, I played with my friends. Sometimes when I gave them the control, they had no idea what to do. Because Silent Hill 4 can be really confusing. And every time one of them grabbed the controller, we joke that. This is now a slow run. We are just slow running Silent Hill 4. That's it. That's the full joke. You can laugh now. Oh, shit. Love the love. Hey, that's a good item. 
Now please don't, you don't make me do bad things to you. Okay. There you go. I can get a free heal here. Damn, Chris. Okay, I got guardhouse in 1 hour 30 minutes. Funny enough, my best time in this game is 1 hour 15 minutes. That's my best time in this game. Well, I think it was 1 hour 15 minutes. It was, a, it was under 2 hours, that, that I'm sure. Okay, now let's... Oh, shit! Uh, that's not interesting. In case of doubt, just say no, not interesting. Like this one. Not interested, dude. Get out of the way, not interesting. Oh no, please, no dogs. Nice. Now get me out of here. We need to say hi to Lisa. I think I'll be fine if I grab this. But I cannot grab the spray right now. But I can grab the grenade though. I can grab the grenade though. The flash grenade. Okay. Now I didn't talk to Rebecca so I don't even... Oh, okay, I think... In this game... Oh, no, we need West. To get Rebecca into the warehouse, I think Richard needs to die. I think that's how you get her in the guardhouse in this game. In the original, it's just, hey Chris, can he follow you? And it's just yes or no. That's it. Wesker? Wesker. Oh, Wesker, you're a jokester. Monsters in chase do not exist. There you go. And now with a magnum and we say hi to Lisa. Oh, no, turn the menu. Oh no. I mean think oh wait never mind. I've been thinking of that Monster Hunter stream I wanted to do just to immortalize my moment of glory, like almost ten years later. Do it when I did the um, Monster Hunter one stream, but that was November. And I not I'm not going to win until November. Because there's now a new really cool thing. Oh shit. If I want to Platinum Dead Souls, I need to get the stupid ass Pachinko minigame. I need to, to play Pachinko. So maybe I need... Maybe some Saturday will appear. That's more important than anything. My moment of glory against the whatever Nargaguga. Nargaguga from the moon. I just hate Pachinko, that's it. Konami even hate Pachinko. I blame, I blame Konami. But I think that's a little bit unfair because you can blame anything to Konami and it works. People will believe you. Nice. 
I'm, I'm still like that, res that Metal Gear 3 remake for Pachinko. That destroyed my soul. That genuinely hurt me. It, it looks so good. It looks so good. And it just Pachinko. Like, why? And there are so many, a thousand rumors of, yeah, they're doing a Metal Gear remake for PlayStation 5. Like, that has been like that for years and years and years and years. So I don't even know what to believe right now. Yeah, that's the thing. Pachinko is it's just... It's just a slot, a slot machines for Japanese. That's it. But it just... That hurt my soul. I Probably that's me overreacting, but... Damn, dude, it just Metal Gear 3. It's, it's really important to me. And yeah, instead of doing a cool ass remake with those graphics, they just do a Pachinko. Like, yes, Konami. World record to hate. Nah, that's kidding. The, the company that did this, a world record as, to, get, to be the most hated company was Nintendo. It's funny how as soon the Switch becomes successful. Nintendo became just Kate. Who is it? <gasps> Lisa. Oh. I mean, it's a Nintendo, but the, it's it's a hard competition because EA and Ubisoft are there, specifically EA. EA. Smash Lisa. Oh shit. Okay, Google. Search. Okay, please don't. Nice 180. Oh, shit. Nice uppercut. Okay, that was painful. Okay, Siri. Search. Lisa rule 34. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. That was a real, a real nice moment. We shake hands like gentlemen. And you like just like, uppercut me from behind and that's it. I mean it's the same Lisa is barely in the game. It would be cool if she chased you some to some places, but I guess it wouldn't work in this game. It's not like Mr. X. It probably exists. It ca I can assure you. There is at least one picture. There is at least one picture because people are psychos. People are psychos. The thing is, the question is, how many pixels? That's, that's, that's the dangerous question. You know what? I know this game so much that I'm gonna look for it real quick. Out of curiosity. Does anybody hear me? This is Chris. Brad, this is Chris. Brad, damn, this thing's broken. The thing is, I don't know who his name lays in. Are they seeing some pigs? <laughs> that was, um, it has to be something. Damn, Lisa, you really killed today. I mean, she's really cool. She's like fake Mr. X. I think she's barely in the game, but I'm gonna guess that's part of the charm of Lisa. That you know there's something in this mansion. There's this weird monster in chains with tentacles and such. It's like... What is it? 
I don't know. Where is it? And she just appears and do, and she slaps you. She just uppercuts you. The ultimate enemy, an uppercut. Hey. Oh, please don't snakes. Kinda hot though. <laughs> okay, this is getting out of hand. Okay, that was a good first first that was a... <laughs> Why the camera went to Chris Dick? What the, what, the, what was that camera angle? It went straight to Chris Dick. It, it wasn't like that with Jill. Okay, it's gone now. We have a... A, a great... <laughs> we had a close-up on Chris's crotch. Hey, that's a grenade. And an ribbon. Why did it get so horny? Let's... It, quick, check, go, Think of anything. Okay, let's, let's save the game too. Let's talk about the high ups. Have you heard of the high ups? Nice. Okay, now just um, let's get the keys. I mean, it's a disappointment. I, I would like to play as Rebecca, but you need to let Richard die. So that means you need to trigger the event and just walk around the mansion. Okay. Well, the thing you get before saving Richard is you get a better shotgun later. Now oh, this is kind of useless now I think about it. I mean, I, there has to be ammo in here. Are you see? Did you see? Did you see? And of course this. Really important. There's nothing unusual. Yeah, open, open it, Chris. Christopher. Christopher, I need you to smoke the blue air if you are poisoned. And that's the joke. People always joke, I had they smoked the plant. I thought I thought as a kid they ate the plant. Like raw. So a cool spider on the door. We are in Australia, it seems. Australia. Just eat the plant, Chris. Eat it raw. Nice. I'm in kind of tight of inventory spaces, but I guess I'll be fine. I can always eat a plant. If something, if something bad happens. Now this is... Yeah, this is loud. Fake gamer, he doesn't even remember the game from yesterday. I'm a, that's what I talk. That's what we talk about yesterday. I'm an entity. I'm not, this is not me playing. This is just a video I found of some dude playing the cinema remake, and I'm just talking about over it. This isn't even my voice. This is. The most faker pens person in the entire internet. 
That's me. You found it. Oh, wait, whatever. Where is the Resident Evil 8 DLC coming up? It was like September. It was November or September or so. I mean, I haven't played Resident Evil 8. I haven't played Resident Evil 7 either. I can play it for Halloween, but they already... I mean, I'm gonna play for Halloween Resident Evil Code Veronica. And I know I'm gonna play it for Halloween because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be over with the Yakuza games by Halloween. This is not the right board, by the way. Like, in Halloween, I might be playing Kiwami, maybe. Maybe not. I mean, I'm, the, the thing is, next week, Dead Souls is over. At least the main campaign. This, I'm going for the Platinum. That's gonna take longer. What if I use this against the the plant? Save Rebecca from dying or hot Lisa? That's a tough choice. <laughs> Dude, we need to get Lisa's Instagram. <laughs> Ah, oh, shit. We need to get her social media, Lisa. Li oh, yes, remember her last name, Lisa Drevor. That's her last name. Okay. Damn, Lisa. We need. I need to do a co-op. I need to do a uh, this. Extremes with Lisa. And yes, hey Lisa, how are you? And she's just like, oh, oh. that's all we need. <laughs> Let's play Resident Evil 5 with Lisa. I mean, the only thing she said, Lisa says in the game is, and then, that's all the things she said in the game. I like when she goes That I like Yeah, now I think about then I've, yeah, I've been thinking about this um, Most likely I'll be playing Yakuza 6 on the, the month of Halloween Unless Red Dead, Revol Red Dead Redemption take forever to beat. Oh, mamma mia. Nice. Yeah, I, I was thinking about that all this time. What game I'll be playing on the uh, spooky month of Halloween, Spooktober. And if we go in one game a month, I will be playing Yakuza 6. Still. Maybe not, maybe it's still whatever. Hey, now this is a banger. Yeah, friendly reminder that Jagusa Mondays is a thing. Jagusa Six Mondays is a thing in this channel. I mean I think in chapter six or, or eight or something like that in Jagusa Six, like that the game is not long. The thing is, doing sub stories takes forever in that game. Because there's. No. <laughs> let's not talk about Jagus, let's talk about something happy. Let's, let's talk about this collaboration stream with Lisa Trevor. Nice, Control is dead. I swear it has to be with Alt, alt Tabin. I'm trying to do that all this time. And when I do Alt Tab, every time it breaks. It says Milf, by the way. Okay, Control, you can work now. Thank you, Christopher. Come on, Chris. In this game, he's struggling, pushing a wooden box. Resident Evil 5. 
punch the boulder. That's it, that's the joke. I'll be here all night, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be here until 4 in the morning. 25th of July, that was last month. Happy birthday, Liz. That was so mad. We forgot her birthday. Birthday. You need to do the DH. Birthday. Nineteen fifty-three. This game takes place in nineteen ninety something. Nineteen ninety four, I think, or so. Three. Hey, check this out. Richard. Don't get to attach to Richard, by the way. Chris. Hello. Chris, stop! No! Richard! Holy shit! Get sucked. Get sucked, stupid. Now I'm out of here because I don't want I don't want to share the same destiny. Oh my god. Oh see that 25th of July. Oh well. Well then what am I fighting her ghost? I'm fighting her ghost. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, Umbrella did the experiments on her. That's why she looks like that. She's really weird. Number two. Okay, that's nice. That's the nice one. Maximum safety. I mean, voice actor. All she says is weird noises and mother. That's all she says. Reaching thirty percent of pressure threshold. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I know the thing. I know how this goes. At last, safety. Now that's how you fight evil sharks. So I call the I always call these sharks zombie sharks, but I think they're just regular sharks. I I honestly don't know. Ah, uh, yes, the biggest enemy in the whole game. A big shark. Hey. Hey, look, you, have, you made a new friend. Okay, now I, now I think you have a new shotgun with more bullets and it's automatic. This shotgun is best shotgun. I know you have ammo for the shotgun. Yes. Now, there's another fun thing about the game. I have no idea how powerful is the self self defense gun. Oh no! So there it is. The assault shotgun. This is really good. Richard's favorite. God bless his soul, poor Richard. Oh my god. Okay, cool. You know what this what we say in situations like this? Not interesting. Interesting. 
Uh, I think I need to eat a plant now because there are magnum rounds here. Uh, there should be. Unless Chris gets a huge fuck you and he do didn't don't get any. He doesn't get any. Yes. Yes. I mean, I guess I'll use this Magnum against the big plant. I don't even mind. Yeah, we, we eat plant now. Oh my, I can use the, so the basic shotgun and then the automatic shotgun. Or I can just use the Magnum and screw everything. Okay, now I know what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to set the game. Well, I'm going to get everything ready before the plant. But then we're saving the game. Oh, he's a crimson head. Already? Why did he transform so fast? Let's fight an evil plant. Which I'm sad because I wanted to play as Rebecca. I think that's one of the coolest things in Chris mode. You play as an other, you play as other character. But you need to let Richard to die. So that's like... Uh, you just need to goof around the mansion. You just need to walk around doing nothing. Richard! Screw you, bees. I mean, I don't know. I guess there are bees. They can be wasps. I mean, you don't need zombie wasps to be to be evil. Like, wasps are a spawn of hell. Everybody knows that. They know they are dangerous. And they are coming for you. Nice. Okay, now um, I'm gonna do a little bit of inventory management, save the game, and you know, fight evil plant. It's full of dirty water. I wonder if Capcom will have the balls to do a remake remake at some point. Oh, there's absolutely nothing here for Chris. Or is it? There's nothing here for Chris. I mean, it would be really funny if they do remake remake. In the style of the... Um, of the new remakes. But that would be um, a ballsy move for them. Because people will get mad, like, why remaking this game where you can remake this other one? Let's remake a remake. Okay, let's do the match, the, what they said. I mean, I would... I don't mind, like, I love Resident Evil 1. I love this game, the atmosphere, the characters, the enemies. I honestly don't care. Don't care. I really enjoy this game and all its versions. I want to play one of the Sega machines, like I think it's Sega Mega Drive or I have no idea. There's a Sega version of Resident Evil 1 that includes a super duper battle mode. I want to check that out. Super 
super duper. Okay, this is what are we what are we doing here? This is how we fight evil plants. With a shotgun and a magnum. That's really bloody nice. Oh well. So I think you can cheese this fight. You can I think you can sit in one place and you are practically invincible. The plant can't hit you. I'm not a big fan of this fight by the way. With Yell, you just completely skip the planet. You use the big jolt. Also, you have five rounds if you really need that. Which you obliterate the plant with that. Nice one. Nice one, Christopher. Now this girl, we can see Booba in the video game. And not get banned because this is a main game. This is a triple A game. So it's fine. Okay, plant, you must perish. Perish! Oh shit! I'm fine. Chris got smashed? I don't believe it. He got smashed against the floor. Okay. Ow. But I think if you stay around here, you're fine, kinda. Also, I think you need the plant to open. So look at these really good camera angles. So you can fall, the, the plant can, can throw you down if you're not careful. Ow. That's it? Wait. Oh, it, it, oh, it was a prank, it was a prank, it was a prank. It was a silly prank. It was like, oh no, you got me. Like, uh oh, I'm kidding. A second this. Okay, I don't like that caution. I, mean, I think you do more damage if you attack when it opens. Now you're dead. Now that, that that's it. Christopher, a true hero. Now let's say, take out this cool reload animation. Nice. You are really good. That wasn't that hard. I guess because when I play this by myself, every single time, I shoot the plant non the plant non-stop instead of waiting until it opens. Now back to the mansion. <gasps> oh, you hey, scared Ray, me. I just kill a huge plant. Okay? 
Yeah. Yeah. It's dead. What's dead? But Richard, he's gone. Oh. I'm sorry. It's my fault. <laughs> I should have watched out for him. I found a pharmaceutical room. I think I can come up with something useful. I'll be there. I'm glad you're still okay. Can he just comes out of nowhere and says, yeah, it's dead. Like, what's dead? Is there a special cutscene I am not aware of? Is that it? That maybe you get out of the room and Chris is like, yo, Rebecca, there's a huge plant. You okay? This room is equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. Want me to treat your wounds? Yeah, sure, I'm never coming back here. Yeah, would you? Thank you. Thanks. Oh. Be strong, Rebecca. She's not like this in Resident Evil Zero. Okay, Rebecca, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna do something good for you, of this crazy mansion. Where you are right now? Um. Oh, Black's Black was dead, and Johnny got the spine. <laughs> Johnny got the spine of Jesus. I haven't read the scenes last time. And then now, okay, Miss Lucy Steele, you must kill the President of the United States. Whisker? Here, have my eye. Chris, That's where I am right now. You're alive. My words exactly. Where's Jill? Thought you were with her. Yeah, I know. We got separated. I see. Anyway, we better find a way out of here before we turn into zombie food. Got any suggestions, Wesker? We should get a better grip on the situation. There must be areas still to be explored in that other mansion. Chris, I want you to check them out one more time. Yes. I'll continue my investigation here. Sure thing. There's something I want to say about a steel ball run that I don't know if I ever said this. The art in some panels is fantastic. It's really good. It's super, it's looks, it looks like way too realistic to say somehow. It's really amazing. You have all these close-ups of the characters and you can see their face and all their traits and everything. It's really, it's really cool. That's something you don't see in, you know, in the other ones. I'm gonna guess because I think a Steel World Run got published in this monthly. It was monthly Sun and Jump or whatever. So, Mr. Um, what was his name? Araki. Mr. Araki can just take more time doing the. You know. The drawings. The art. So, I honestly think that's really, really cool. It looks like Jojo, like your regular Jojo most of the time. And then sometimes you have this. Super dramatic, super realistic close-up of the characters or panels. There's also another thing. It's mo much more gruesome than the others, the other arcs, the other parts, or whatever you wanna call them. And it has more detail. Like there's this disgusting panel where Johnny finds out he has the Brad. the arm, Can you hear me? the arm of Jesus, Brad. and it just comes out of his hand. It's disgusting. Damn. It's really cool. It just basically the arm opens and the arm comes out. It's it's disgusting. I'm really enjoying Steel World Run. It's it's I don't know if it will become my favorite because I love Battle Tendency. I love Battle Tendency so much. But it might be my second favorite. It's just it's just really cool Steel World Run. No, I've seen the panels when really really back in the day. 
when Jairo just starts singing something about pizza mozzarella or something like that. And Johnny just like, damn, that's good. don't poison me. But then Johnny is like, damn, Jairo, that's a catchy song. And they start singing together. I mean, I'm not there yet, but I've seen the panel. One of those few popular panels of the Steel Ball Run. Is that, probably my favorite one is when Jairo is just like, oh, I don't believe this guy. When they like talking shit with hot pants. And they are, he's like, get him to go fuck himself, Johnny. And he's like, you tell him yourself. And Jairo just, just shouts, go fuck yourself. I really enjoyed that. That's one, of, that's one of the reasons I'm enjoying a Steel Ball Run so much. The friendship yeah. between your not your no, Jairo and and Johnny. I'm really enjoying that. That's also one of the reasons I really enjoyed Battle Tendency because of the the relationship between Joseph and Caesar. Yeah, the thing is, listen, I'm not stupid, I'm not that idiot, I don't want, I don't want spoilers, but I know what happens when a Sebeli befriends a Joestar, I know what happens, so I need to be ready when that happens. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want spoilers, but I have an idea what's going to happen at some point. It happened in part one, it happened in part two, it's going to happen in part three. Part 7, I'm sorry, part 7. I've already seen this. Okay, whatever. It's gonna be painful. Come here, boy. Okay, it's not automatic. Oh, 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 what the hell? It's shit, asshole. Wait, that hunter... He got the, the dagger in his brain. He was dying and he scratched me. He was still doing damage. Holy shit. Yeah, that's, I mean, the, the fan favorite really is uh, Stardust Crusaders. Stardust Crusaders really is everyone's favorite, for what I know. But yeah, uh, Battle Tendency is also the other favorite one. I mean, it just, I really like it. It's just a really good one. I really like Joseph. I really like Caesar. I really like Lisa Lisa. I really like a lot of things in Battle Tendency. Also, the enemies like ACDC and all these guys, Wamu, they are really, really cool. And then you have Strothheim, the best, the best Nazi cyborg. <laughs> That's the thing with Battle Tendency, there are so many cool characters. Second favorite part, you see? I mean, there's something no one will sadly no something that no one will ever say or that's not the common opinion phantom blood being someone's favorite i even seen people saying they dislike phantom blood like phantom blood is fine it just you can see that it's kind of old and it, it doesn't have the all the cool stuff of jojo that we have nowadays but it's got the basic it's got the basic stuff that's, that's the cool thing for me in, in phantom blood I don't know. I don't like when people say mean things to Phantom Blood. It's not that many people, but I'm seeing comments. I've seen comments saying Phantom Blood is like uh, poo poo. Part three. <laughs> oh shit. I mean, part three is cool. What I like the most about part three is that it feels like an adventure. Like we're going from Japan to India just to fight a gay vampire. 
And that's a, that I really, really like. It feels like an adventure. And then you have the stance, of course, which that becomes the most popular thing in Jojo. I mean, it becomes the weapon in Jojo. This ghost bodyguard. George Trevor. Same with Kakoi. Yeah, I mean, Jodor is really basic. He's basically this badass character. That's all he is. He's this silent badass main character. That's all Jotaro is, really. I mean, I like Jotaro. He's really cool. Yeah, I can understand people disliking Jotaro. Well, disliking their part, whatever. You know what the coolest part of part three? Joseph. <laughs> Old Joseph is a beast. He has probably the weak, one of the weakest stunts, and he's really cool using it. Like he's he's really smart using that stun. I love that. Also, we need. Wait, let, let's try to let's try to get a double kill. Okay, never mind. Can you... Dude! Let go! Oh wait... I, oh... I almost died. Nice one, Chris. That's what happened when I talk about Joseph. I told... Oh dude, Joseph is really smart and I'm the complete opposite. Put grenade in zombie head. Shoot grenade at melee range with shotgun. Embrace death. That's me. Oh, for fuck's sake. Don't like part 4. I really like part 4. It's probably... I mean, the thing with part 4, that's probably the problem. It's just nothing really happens until... Kira shows up. It's just Josuke and... I always forget his name's friend. <laughs> his, his friend's name. It's just basically Josuke and Okuyasu. Josuke and Okuyasu doing nothing and then a casual fight here and there and then you also have Koichi and Rohan and suddenly Kira arrives and that's when the show gets really cool like Kira is, Kira is really cool, he's a really cool villain probably because he's different also I need to say people like Stone Ocean I'm not a big fan of Stone Ocean I mean I I can say I like every single Jojo. I didn't get to the point that oh my god, oh this is boring. Like, but Bento Aureo and Stone Ocean, they are kind of weak for me. They are fine, but it's not like ooh, it's not like it's oh my god, no way. Oh shit. Okay, far. Thank you. He likes. I mean, I like Giorno and Jolin. But I think it, it feels weak. I don't know why. It's just something like uh, it's fine, but not for me. Part six, part five. Yeah, I don't even know what is better. I think I like Jolene more than Giorno because there are so many insane and stupid stands in Stone Ocean. Like, listen, you have a guy that turns people into snails. That's the most stupidest shit. And funny enough, it's one of the most dangerous stunts up to date. Also, you have P Father Father Pucci in in Jolin. I really, really like Father Pucci. He's probably my favorite villain. He's a priest. He's a priest friend of Dio, and he's a mastermind. I need to move. I need a chest. I mean, the... Probably right now, the... Yeah, let's get a chest first. 
the part I like the least, I'll say it's Bento Aureo. I mean, I like it, of course. I said I like it. At, at right now, I like every part. They all of them are fun in their own unique way. But Bento Aureo is like, um, I don't know, Chief. Like Jonathan and same time Dio. Well, Jorno is Dio's son. That's what the people say. So that thing I wear, like it, it feels so weird for me for Dio to have a child. This asshole who think who he th he thinks he is the best guy in the universe. Dio Brando. He suddenly has a son that no one talks about. Like mom? So it's like weird. I mean, it makes sense that it's Jonathan and Dio at the same time. Because, um, you know, Dio's body. It's Dio's head with Jonathan's... Dio's head with Jonathan's body. Uh, let's fight a snake, okay. I mean, I'm gonna guess the anime gets get a lot of things better because of the fight and animation. The, I only watched some clips in some JoJo's. Like I only watched the, the Stardust Crusader anime fully, and it's really cool because you have this music, you have the animation, you have the voice acting, and it's really cool. And the best thing of all, there's no filler. Nice. I mean, I re people thought that the Oingo Boingo fight is filler. Like, no, dude, that's canon. That's that's a real thing in the game. <laughs> well, in the game, in the manga. Like, probably my favorite fight in the Stardust Crusaders is versus the... Um, the guy that plays cards. I love that fight. It's not a fight, it's just, they just bet him. And Jotaro wins because Jotaro guy gets scared. I love it. That's probably, that's one of my favorite fights in the franchise. With the franchise. In the, yeah, I guess franchise. Full Jojo. I guess I'll get the modis now. Also, Hunter's coming up from the windows. Oh my god! Not interested. What would we say when we find something like this? Not interested. And they leave you. Jotaro is more Italian than Giorno. <laughs> well, I mean, Jotaro is supposed to be half Japanese, half American. Same with Julian. Nice. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Hey. Ole. I don't know. I really wonder how Jojolion is. Like, I that when it comes to Jojolion, I have no absolutely nothing. Because no one talks about Jojolion. So I don't even know if it's good or people just don't care about Jojolion. I don't know. That, that I have no idea. And I hope it, it stays that way. Well, let's fight the evil snake. 
I guess I'll be fine with nine Magnum shots. People, lo people love Jojo, you know, okay, I'm happy for that. Let's, let's get the shotgun just in case. I'm happy for Jojolion then. Yeah, that was I'm worried because no one talks about Jojolion. It's like it doesn't exist. I'm gonna exist because it was the last part and it wasn't done yet. Oh, that's a cool oh shit. That's a cool hunter noise, by the way. Yodoru. You know he's done. Yeah, it finished a few months ago, I think. Well, I think it's a while now, but I think it was a few months ago, like four or five, maybe. Oh shit. Oh, it's a crimson head in here. We don't like crimson heads. Oh, who? Nice. I'm happy. So it's gonna be part 10 or, or part 9, I guess. See, part, yeah, part 9. Part 9. It's gonna be part 9 or what? No, it's a control disconnected. It disconnected. It disconnected. Part 9. Okay, so part 9 is confirmed. Check out the controller coming back. So I cannot play to I cannot wait to play Kiwami 2 and the controller to disconnect in the Ryuji final quick time event and die. That's gonna be epic. That's gonna be so cool. Oh shit, that was loud. So when is when are we gonna be done with Jojo? Like when is gonna be the moment that Araki says, "Okay, I had enough." Jojo lands. That's not like a kind of stupid name, but I mean Jojo is still something weird. Jojo lands. Why is this snake so tanky? There you go. Okay, now back to the capes. Oh, dear. I mean, it, it will have to end at some point. I'm still surprised. Like, Jojo is, like, from the 80s, I think. And it's still going. Like, holy shit, people like Jojo. And funny enough, Jojo never got popular outside of Japan until the anime. Until they made Phantom Blood. I mean, there's some of us here and there. That I know. Araki 62. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, jo Jojo is old. Like, Jojo is really old and it's still going. That's That's amazing. I mean, everything will, will have to end at some point. That's reality. Like, it will happen to One Piece. Look like 35. <laughs> you know, that's right. He looks kind of young. Like, he's bump. <laughs> yeah, Dio is based on himself. Now, this is where I take the super cool shortcut, but they decide to not... Open the door. Dio is based in myself, the mangaka. Now, this is the biggest enemy of the game, the camera. Nice one. Nice one, Christopher.
could I do open that? Oh my god. I mean, it could be cool to end with part with part ten, but I mean, I think a steel ball run it took forever to finish, right? Like, if it's a monthly a monthly manga, that is really long. But I don't know. I mean, it depends on the guy. Maybe he just want to do part eleven. Like, ooh. Part 11? No way! At the end of the day, it's up to him. He will do whatever he wants. It's my manga, I do whatever I want. Why are there zombies still here in so many places? Oh, what the... Oh, shit. Dude, I get really scared when zombies bite more than once. Because I think they, the controller disconnected. Also, I have like... Three grenades and three daggers. Why am I not using them? Wait. A steel ball run ended in 2011? Are you telling me we had Jojolion for more than 10 years? No way. Holy shit. Um Give me a second here. Okay, you got me. Also, I didn't know Steel Ball Run was for, started 2004. I think it was like 2010 or something. Now I'm really surprised. <laughs> now I'm really, really surprised. Okay, 10 years of Jojolion. Wow. And now I start all over again in other in another part. <laughs> so I let me use the shotgun diplomacy real quick. Don't get that boom. Let's get one item and then we go to the games. Okay, I'm happy to say that today the steam will end at 4 a.m. Or at least it should end. <laughs> it's luck. I'm choking, I'm choking on my own crap. Oh I have a, 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 a rusty key, don't worry, I have a small key. I mean, I'm surprised, like, oh, dude, Jojolion is 10 years, says the guy that has been with One Piece more than 20 years. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, it's it's going to be so weird. The day I wake up and I'm like, there's no One Piece coming. There's no new One Piece chapter coming. I'm going to feel empty. I'm going to feel so empty. Hey. Look at all this shotgun ammo. I I will have to watch to read a new endless manga to fill the void that One Piece will left me. When One Piece ends, we'll start two piece. Damn! I mean Oda will probably retire after One Piece. Oh, they're getting kinda old too. Nice. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, I really doubt Oda 
will do another manga when he's done with One Piece. I really, really, really doubt that. But you know, you never know. Maybe Oda wake up and he's like, oh, he's 47. That's still quite an age. That's still a big age. And if we joke, like, I mean, we always joke here and there, but One Piece is probably has five more years. We still, we still have five more years of, of One Piece, most likely. But the thing is, it, it is really worth it to start another manga at 50 something. When you know you will not surpass your previous work, that is One Piece. And maybe he does. Maybe he's just like, okay, let's create this small story that is going to be better than One Piece. It's going to be better than one lifetime of manga. Oh my god! I mean, I I don't even know all those previous works, you know? I have no idea what he done. Besides One Piece, of course. But the One Piece has been with us for more than 20 years or so. I wouldn't be surprised if he only made one piece. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Have a good night. Thanks for watching, of course. Thanks for watching. Have a good rest. Have a good rest of the weekend or whatever. Well, it's not the weekend. It's Friday tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Thanks for watching. Have a good rest. Thanks for coming by. Now, let me do the worst puzzle in the whole franchise. I, I hate this one so much. Okay, going smooth. Nice. Cool. Okay, looking good. Yeah, I really don't know if Oda will do something else at some point. I really doubt that. I, I guess it's gonna be done with one piece and that's it. What I really hope, I really, really hope, is Oda don't do, like, a sequel to One Piece. Unless it's good. That I don't know if it will be good. Like, we don't even know how One Piece is going to end. <laughs> but there's, uh, there are ideas here and there, but... You know. I mean, he might do a spin-off or something he really wants to. Or what happened to these guys after the One Piece? Like, I don't even know, dude. You tell me. You tell me what happened to them. Okay, let's prepare to go to the cave. So you have like an infinite supply of shotgun ammo, it seems. I think I can beat the game right now with only the shotgun at this point. I have so much bullets. So many cells. Okay, let's get the... Yes, let's get the waste of time. <laughs> let's use the key first. I mean, I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna toss it away as soon as I use it, but, you know. Nice. But now I'm gonna get this emblem thing. Oh, and now I save Rebecca. Is she upstairs? Oh, shit, Rebecca. Give me a second. Sorry, Rebecca. First, we need to get the items. There are priorities, Rebecca. I'm sorry. 
I didn't close. Okay, let's save Rebecca. Let's get the best ending. The best possible ending. I mean, I think I never got Rebecca killed in any of my playthroughs ever, in any single Resident Evil game. Either this one or the DS one. I played a lot of DS. But... Or remake. It, I mean, Rebecca dying is most up to you if you want to. It's not like Barry, where you can have happy accidents. Like the rope one that I had on the first time. Oh shit! It's funny because there are hunters in Zero. Rebecca. Chris. You okay? I didn't mean to get you worried. We can't stay here any longer. We have to get to the others and find a way out of here. You with me? Yes. Then I'll go ahead. Until then, Rebecca, you're on your own. Stay cool and use your better judgment. Got it? I can handle myself. Good luck. But I think it's, it's really different for here on Zero. I didn't mean to get you worried. It's okay. This was the weakest hunter ever. Like... I mean, I guess if you don't have a gun, and you know what a hunter is, you're gonna be scared. That's, that's obvious. That's a really obvious thing. But it's like... I like, oh my god, I don't know what is that. <laughs> I said, I have no idea. It's, it's really weird. I've even... I've even seen things saying like, Oh, Zero is not canon. What do you mean not canon? There you go. I'm peop I've seen people saying that... Resident Evil Zero is like a Rebe Rebecca's nightmare. Inside of the mansion. It's like, what? So you're telling me Billy isn't real. But that's not true, because I, I know that in the 64 version of Resident Evil 4... Resident Evil 2, sorry, Resident Evil 2. There's a, a note of Rebecca talking about Billy. I, I don't know. I know that there's something like that. I don't know if it's Resident Evil 2 for the 64 or something. Oh, I'm an idiot. I have no idea. But I think the... Oh, it's not canon. It's Rebecca's nightmare. I think that's stupid. What is Ca Capcom's opinion on... On Zero? What is it, an item? No, I saw nothing. You know what's Capcom's opinion on Resident Evil Zero? Costume DLC for Rebecca. <laughs> that's... That's Cap Capcom's opinion. I don't even know why there's so many paid DLC for Rebecca's costume. I mean, she has a cowgirl skin in the game. That's all you need. That's all I need. And, and Billy has like a Jakusa-like skin or something. That's the best combo. I got really happy when I saw those two skins. Like, Cowboy and Jakusa. That's literally me. <laughs> No, I'm Cowboy, Macaque, Jagusa, and Zombie. <laughs> I'm everything. I'm a multi-class. Multi-class, multi-race. That's who I am. Ah, you're a multi-class, multi-race bastard. Yes. I can be whatever you want, baby. But right now, I'm Christopher. Running away from dogs. Evil dog will not eat me brain.
Cool. I mean, I know I'm talking about Zero right now, but what was the idea behind paid DLC for costumes? Like, isn't that abusive for a single player game? I mean, if people buy it, like, sure, but are those new costumes for the HD remasters or those were costumes in the GameCube version? I'm gonna guess they are completely new for the HD remaster because if you do the... Um, let's put in-game content that already was in the base game as paid DLC, then you are a soulless monster. Also, I'm gonna save this in Ribbon here. Yeah, I'm gonna save. I don't want happy accidents right now. And we're almost at the end of the game. Dave's successful. Oh, yes. Nice. Okay. Let's keep going. Well, I would probably just rush towards the end of the game. Like, I have enough shotgun ammo for everything. For every living or not living thing here, I have shotgun ammo for them. There's a Resident Evil game I always wanted to check out, and it's Operation Raccoon City. I know people say it's a really weak game. It's like fake years of war. But I don't know, the game always seems fun, but I know I've seen also stuff that it looks like really cheap and sometimes can be glitchy, I think. I wouldn't mind checking it out, but I'm gonna guess it's one of those games that alone is kinda bad, with single player mode is kinda bad, but with a friend can be with friends can be enjoyable. Even if it's a little bit. Enrico! Enrico! Don't come any closer, Chris. What happened? Double crosser. Enrico, wait. No. Enrico. Um, well. Uh, Enrico. Who's the traitor? Double crosser. Rebecca is a double crosser? No way. No way. I don't believe it. He just got one shot then. <laughs> Who could it be? I mean, it's Rebecca, you, and Wesker. There's no, there's no more characters here right now. Oh shit! Not interested. <laughs> he taunted. He taunted instead of attacking me. What an idiot! What an absolute buffoon. <laughs> okay, let's just... Well, I need room for the flamethrower. I think I'll be fine with what I have. Hey, guys. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. But I'm talking about Resident Evil that I like, I dislike. Mostly the ones I dislike, that it's... Zero and Operation. Uh, not Operation, it can't be Operation. Probably I won't enjoy that game that much. I don't know, it seems fun. In its own unique way. Do you know what multiplayer Resident Evil game I love? And it's my favorite spin-off? Like, there's no brain. Even it, it probably is, I like it more than main Resident Evil games. Outbreak. I love Outbreak so much. I played a lot of that game as a kid. On the PS2. And I never got to play it online, by the way. I tried? I really tried, but the thing is, I was a stupid kid. I was like... I don't even know. 10? Maybe less. 
and I never managed to get it to play the play the game online. And that's something I know you can play online with private servers. Let's call it that way. But I don't know, it's like I know you can need to get an account and get the, a Japanese copy of the game. Or Japan, a Japanese ROM of the game of like. And then you have Evil Spider. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh whoa, do I just got edged. I just got Goldberg. Can Black Tiger poison you? Yeah, this is called Black Tiger. Okay, first of all, obliterates. Absolute, complete domination. Oh, cool. Okay, this, this doesn't work. I think, I don't know if it's this game or the original. I don't even care. I don't know if it's this game or the original. That you can make the black tire to open the door for you. Nice. But yeah, I love Outbreak so much. File 1 and File 2, I love them. They are... I just, it's just pure love what they feel towards those games. Pure love, pure joy. I would love to see a comeback from of Outbreak. That's, that's what they really want from Resident Evil at this point. I want an Outbreak comeback. I don't care if it's HD remaster, a remake in style of, you know, the new remakes, or even if it's Outbreak 3. I don't know. I want, I want Outbreak rated things. I want Outbreak. I want Outbreak. Oh shit. There was a spray here, right? There was a spray. Yeah, I'm not interested in the spray. I'm, in fact, I need one... I only have one room, and that's for the key item. Which I can do a combo on... Okay, never mind, I have room for the spray. Spray. But yeah, I, I want Outbreak stuff. I just want Outbreak back. It's the Outbreak 3, Outbreak Remake. I don't even care. I just want Outbreak. Nice one, Chris. And if we don't have Outbreak, I want Outbreak reference in other Resident Evil games. I got really sad when in Remake 2, there's no Kevin reference. Oh, that's not, no, that's not needed. I mean, I know there is a Kevin one in 3 Remake. That the, you get close to a um, police car and it's like some guy saying that he's on a bar with other three people and one got beaten. That's basically the first episode of Outbreak. And I think that's really cool. <laughs> like now, now that's really cool. Yes, but there's nothing like oh this this locker room says Kevin. Maybe there's a Kevin reference and I never find out about that one. I don't know. I think this is way too far away. Okay, never mind. I get the spray, why not? Better safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry. There's another Resident Evil game that I played but never beat. 
Resident Evil Gaiden. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, I know that game is kinda bad. I also know that you can get soft lock if you get run out, if you run out of ammo at some point in the game. I remember this was this kid on the na on my neighborhood that he had the Game Boy copy of the game. He has a Wait, I need the flamethrower to Yeah. Okay, good good spray. Good spray. He had the Game Boy cartridge. He has a real one of Resident Evil Gaiden. I don't know how rare that game is. I don't know how rare it is, but... I remember the idea of playing Resident Evil on the Game Boy Color. It was... Dude, you have Resident Evil on the Game Boy? That's sick. Not interested. Okay, maybe I'm interested a little bit. I'm kidding. That was like, oh, Resident Evil on the Game Boy, that's sick! And I remember watching the game. And I still think the game looks sick. Back in, back in the day. It was like, oh, dude, it looks really cool. There's something I need to say, um, Resident Evil Gaiden. You play as Barry, oh, that's right, you play as Barry in Resident Evil Gaiden. I completely forgot, and there's Leon. For some reason. But I think Gaiden is not canon. In... It's just not. But the animation of your character in Gaiden, it, it's a really cool one. But yeah, I mean, the, so the, it just, it, the game is not just you run, you shoot, and that's it. There's this weird battle system where there's a line in there's like a bottom line moving. And you need to press the A button or the B button at a specific time just to do damage. And the game is like really selfish with the ammo. It's like the game hates you when you have ammo. They don't want you to have ammo. That I know. I know a few things. But there are some enemies that without the gun, you cannot win. It's impossible. There's another Resident Evil game I want to replay. Resident Evil Dead Aim. Which I think that's a hit or miss for many people. Hello, Lisa. How are you doing today? I remember having fun with Dead Aim. I mean, I played with a normal controller, not without the gun. Because I think the game was supposed to be playing with a gun. With one of these light guns. But yeah, I played with a classic PS2 controller. Nothing fancy. I would like to beat that game again. But I also want to play Code Veronica. I want to play Day Dame again. I like to put some Outbreak in here because I love Outbreak so much. And I wouldn't even mind to play 7 here for the first time. But also I, I would rather play 7 just by myself like, ooh, this mansion is really spoopy. So I don't have to struggle my mouth just to speak in, in English. <laughs> But once again, that's the point of this channel, speaking English, so... Yeah, whatever. Also, re for Remake, um, the thing is, I, I hope it's good, but I mean, it's going to be good. It has to be good. But for me, it's hilarious, hilarious because people lost their minds when we saw the gameplay trailer. And the gameplay trailer was Leon walking through a forest. Cool one. He was just walking with a possible crouch button. And people were like, oh my god, oh my god! Like, there's nothing. Show me how the shooting feels. Show me the ganados. Show me how the, fan the ganados are. That's what they want to see. How are the ganados? Are they smart? Are they slow? Do I still speak in this 
weird Spanish accent. Agárrenlo. Empieza a rezar. Voy a hacer picadillo. I don't know. It's, it, it has to be good. I refuse to believe that came to ban being bad. But the thing is... Capcom knows the fiasco that was, the disaster that was through Remake. So they, they're not going to fuck up Remake 4. Especially because Resident Evil 4 is for many people the best Resident Evil. If not the only Resident Evil they played. I have a friend that only played Resident Evil 4. He loves Resident Evil 4, but he doesn't care about the franchise. Say, okay, fair enough. I mean, 4 is really good. And some people dislike 4. I mean, my brother doesn't care about 4. I do. I think 4 is really fun. The big question is, will we have Remake 5? Or we have what... What should be instead of Remake 4? Code Veronica Remake. Lisa, I need to... Thank you, Lisa. She's fighting invisible demons. Only she can see those demons. Wait, the... Ah, never mind. I don't need healing. I'm fine. I don't know. The thing is, I remember nothing of... The only... The, one of the few things I remember from Code Veronica is the, that Nosfera to boss that it was really weird. And that... Titan fight in the plane. That is really, really bad. That you can get soft locked. That I know. If you don't have enough ammo or something, you can get stuck in that fight. Forever. Which I really hope it doesn't happen. So I'll do a favor to myself when I play Code Veronica. And I will save in different places. In different safe slot, I mean. Okay, let's go to the laboratory, okay? back I mean I'm pretty sure I can beat the game with like what 61 shotgun ammo 61 shots from a shotgun I think I can beat the game really easy now now, there's not even that many enemies in the game at this point there's this asshole I'm sorry, okay? I apologize for what I just said to you. You're not an asshole. You are motherfucker. All oh, destroyed. Destroyed by the words of a six-year-old kid. Nice. That's really bloody nice. Okay, I'm really happy to say that this thing won't end at 4 in the morning. It will end at 3 in the morning. No, probably there are 30 more minutes and that's it. And we're good to go. Because laboratory is... It's not that long, especially if you know the password. You save a lot of time if you know the passwords and the username and the other password. Nice. Very good. Oh, 
the thing is, I wanted to play Gold Veronica after Jagusa 2, really. That's March. I wanted to play Gold Veronica since March, but one thing took to another way, and I got to the point that I was like, do whatever. I'll play it on Halloween, I guess, at this point. That's my Spooptober game. Code Veronica. Also, I think the game is long. I think Code Veronica can be really long. Nice one. There's a gamer down there. Okay, I'm gonna check out this gamer's room. And we're gonna raid his gamer room. Oh, in this case, his, her gamer room. Okay, Lisa, let's check out your gamer room. Let's save just in case. I don't want to get one shot by Lisa. Yeah, we are almost there, ladies and gentlemen. Almost there. Welcome to Checking Gamer Rooms with Christopher Redfield. What do you think Lisa smells like? Probably death, like it's, it's just a rotten body. Oh shit. You're a bit of a mess up. Chris, take a piece of the action. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Okay, now, will Wesker die? I need to Wesker. Ow. What was that? Wesker, no, you must leave! Okay, Wesker is dead. I cannot believe Wesker's dead. Okay. Well, that's there's that. What a shitty game in room. There's like a, a, a skeleton that's scary and disgusting. There's like endless cliff. My friend died in that gamer room. That gamer room sucks. Okay, that's another test of for joke. Let's get to the laboratory. Let's get to the true gamer room. No, use the elevator, Chris. Uh, I'm not going to save yet. Watch me die because I didn't save. But watch me destroy zombies' heads. I will probably won't even bother with the Magnum against the Tyrant. Mm. 
Okay, that's a crimson head. Oh, let's let's get a full heal, okay? Let's heal up after that disaster. <laughs> Say it again. I dare you. <laughs> yes, I love crimson heads. Where are they? What do you need to do to land a headshot in this game? I'm still doing fine. I mean, I think I have more than enough ammo to kill Tyrant and everyone in the laboratory. Oh, Okay, this, this is how you do a headshot. Check this out. Nice. That's how you headshot people. Grenade in mouth. Shoot grenade. Violence. Hey, I, 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 this I like. I guess I... I don't even know what they'll do. I mean, it's really easy to dodge Tyrant with this super epic joystick movement. Nice. That's it, I'm out. There was nothing here, there was healing. I don't care about healing right now. I don't care. Well, I mean, Tyrant was kinda tanky with the. with the Magnum Round with Jill. So I don't know. I mean, I guess I had enough. I guess, I don't know. I hope so. Oh my god, no way! Oh shit. We are naked zombies so powerful. They are just naked. That's their power. What's your undead power? Being naked. Yeah, sure, sure. No, 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 no. Whatever you say. <laughs> Whatever you say. I guess I'll use the shotgun against the first tyrant. And then I'll use the magnum. For the second tyrant. Well, I guess it's gonna be magnum and shotgun. Are you Crimson Head yet? Not yet. Are you a Crimson Head? The, um, the zombie noises from here in, in the laboratory, from the original one, they are really good. They go like full... Wait, wait, wait a second. Shit. It was like... Give me a second. I remember this, but I don't remember the lighter. Well, you can you can stay here now. That motherfucker. Good thing Wesker's dead. He was the bad guy all along. Wesker was the bad guy all along. Can you believe that? I I I can't. I don't. It's impossible. I mean, that was kind of a big reveal in the original. 
Like, wow, this guy is the bad guy? No way! Are you crimson head yet? I want to shoot you. I want you to stay dead dead. Double dead. I'm gonna kill you so hard that you will die. Oh my god! That's a headshot. Hey. So I don't know why I have so many grenades and knives with Chris. And I had like... Almost to none with, with Jill. I have no clue. Can you push that, my strong gentleman? And now we got no trouble, so we'll go here fast. Or what we say here, not interested. I guess that's my catchphrase now. <laughs> Where are the enemies? Where are the manticores? Okay, there, there is one. Shoo. Why that sounds so loud? Also, it's really cool. Like, the shotgun in this game is really, it's really good. I love when in games like this you shoot and you see pieces of meat flying. I love that. You can see the flesh flying away. A big blood splat. I really, really like that. I think that's why Resident Evil 4 is so good to shoot enemies. You know what's good? This is good. Oh, shit! No way! Uh, yeah, I know you're alive. You tried. You tried. This I enjoy. I think I'm more than ready just to to beat the game at this point. Yeah, I'm more than ready to beat the game. Okay, second last save of the game. Last save. I mean, this game is not that hard, but once again, I play a lot of this game. So you know what the things I have to do and how I have to play. What Resident Evil is the hardest Resident Evil of the mainline games? From... Okay, I'm gonna guess it's zero. I'm gonna say zero. I'm gonna say Control Disconnected. That's my favorite Resident Evil game. Control Disconnecting. I love that one so much. I don't even know what's happening. This never happened. I mean, I mean it, oh what? I mean, it happened when I played Yakuza Six, and it happened since yesterday when I played this game again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Also, I need the modisk. I forgot to take it with me. Let's get the mod disc so we can save our good friend Jill. That way we make sure we have Resident Evil 3. And we like Resident Evil 3. There it is. I mean, Resident Evil 3 is really cool. It has Nemesis, and you have Jill. And Control is dead again. Oh, this is a weird, weird way to control the game. 
Wait, where's the action button? It's F. It's I just blew on the on the USB. Now it's not even. I think it's my PC. I think there's something wrong with the USB drivers on my PC. So much excitement. <laughs> Just remember, this is your low quality stream. Yeah, 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 press A, press A to win, or X, or whatever you're playing. And now we just walk away. What is the description of this? Oh, it's the same thing. I love, I love Chris' work animation, like, Jill works like, Steam knows there's danger nearby. Chris just works casually, like, he's working like this is his, his house or something, this is his home. He just doesn't care, look at him. Look at him go. He doesn't care. So I need to check out, if I ever play this game again, I need to check out two things. One, how to go through the stairs fast. I want to know the trick. I want to know the secret. Number two, I think you can run here with the needle is again. Even if it's just a little tiny bit, I know you can run. And uh, now we can run again. Yeah, who, okay, who, who wants to fight Tyrant? Tyrant first form. This is one of my favorite Tyrant designs. I don't know, there's something so cool about him. It's just some big dude with a big claw and a big car and a really big heart. Also, I don't want to lose health, so this guy must get shot in the face with a shotgun. That sounds so good. Shoot me harder, Chris. <laughs> it sounds really good. I need to get a soundboard of Michael Rosen. Or even get the sound effects. It sounds so loud when they die. It's so satisfying, but it's so loud, and they just go flying, and you have all this bless in your face, and all this yellow blood. Also, I don't know what these things are based on. I always call them mosquitoes, <laughs> or flies, but I think they are like cockroaches. Okay, let me do a one last check. I'm good to fight. I'm good to fight Tyrant. Yes, I, I am. And if he kills me, I'm gonna get sad. The elevator is working. Chris! Hello, Rebecca. I saw you in the inner garden. I finally caught up. Well, I'm glad you're okay. No more following. Just stay with me, kid. 
That's my plan, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, let's fight evil, Rebecca. This is a really good cutscene, by the way. What's coming up? Wesker. So you've come. I thought you died. Yes, you make me proud. But of course, you are one of my men. Thanks. Since when, Wesker? I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Since when have they been slipping you a paycheck? I think you're a bit confused. I've always been with Umbrella. And stars were Umbrella's... No, rather, my little piggies. The tyrant virus leaked, polluting this whole place, and unfortunately, I had to give up my lovely members of stars. You killed them with your own dirty hands! You son of a bitch! You tell him, Grace, you tell him. Oh yes, dear. Just like this. <laughs> don't move! <laughs> you. I don't think you want to die that's a, just That's yet. one of the best moments. I have something that's of some interest to you. Who is that guy? He looks friendly. He looks friendly. Ultimate life form. Tyrant. You mean the ultimate failure? <laughs> Wesker, you've become senile. Wesker, you're Chris, beautiful. You'll never understand. It's magnificent. <laughs> oh shit. He's fine, don't worry. Just kiss the boob and he'll be fine. Come on, you test tube freak. You you can't kill me. Oh shit. You can't kill me. I re this boy is a gift of the original game. What a pathetic way to die. Also, this is a really good note. I know I skip everyone, but here he mentions Birkin and Alexia. TG. Oh, this is Birkin. The William Birkin. I'm going to see the look on Alexia's annoying face. <laughs> That's the Halloween game. Are you okay? Wait, can you wake her up while fighting Tyrant? I, this was an accident. It looks like I'm a pro or something. Like, as soon as I land the last shot, I wake her up. It's a good thing you were wearing your bulletproof vest. There's nothing left for us to do here. Let's get moving. Okay. So can I wake her up and... get help to fight Tyrant? Okay, Rebecca, let's beat the game before 4 a.m. God bless. I mean, I'm gonna beat the game before 3 a.m., so I'm happy. This was a good one. This was better than, than Jill. I usually play better with Chris than Jill. 
probably w just like I said in the first time, first minute of the stream. It's because I don't know. I play with you and I get more experience. Like oh, I remember yes. where everything is. What is it? I found a file Except where the lab. lighter is. Apparently, there's still a lot of tyrant virus here. We should blow this whole place up. Right. Yeah, sure. The show must go on. I'll leave that up to you, Rebecca. I'm on it. I'll start the self-destruct system I found a little while ago. It's not like we're out of this yet. I'll see you on the outside. Outside. Watch out for the evil cockroaches, Rebecca. You don't want to get uppercut by those evil cockroaches. <laughs> Not interested. <laughs> Not interested. I'm sorry. I guess that's my new catchphrase. <laughs> Not interested. The streamer. Can't you just do the three at the same time? Nice. Yes, Chris, release your friend. Hello, Jill. Come here. We need we need Resident Evil 3 in here. A hug. You're okay. Chris, it's Wesker. He I know. But first let's get out of here. Okay. Let's get out of here. We need to sleep. You move back. There's a way to just a slide through the stairs. I want to know how to do that. Let's get going. Okay. Let's get going. Watch out for the crimson heads ahead, Jill. There's three of them. And they suck because they are mad. Why are you so mad? I mean, because they are dead and in an laboratory that is how to explode. Oh, shit. What is a headshot? Oh, shit. Okay, that crimson head is dead. It's not coming back. <laughs> that crimson head, he was, he was slept. He was sleeping. Okay, let's get this one, this one, and let's save the game. I mean, I think this is good enough to to kill Tyrant, right? It has to be. I mean, I barely have killing, but he's not going to survive like 18 Magnum bullets, right? I mean, if I die, we can say, oh, oh, you die, you stink, you suck. I mean, yes, I, I do. Yes, I do. Hello, Jiru. I don't even care. <laughs> Okay. 
Look at those monsters! <laughs> the Resident Evil 1, the, the, the voices, the dub, call whatever you want, it's fantastic. I mean, it's not that dub because there's not, there's only one way, there's only one language for the voices. Three minutes to detonation. The self-destruct system's activated. Good work. Brad's up in the helicopter. Those things are coming. Look at those monsters. I'll take care of them. But Chris, you just get in contact with Brad somehow. Okay. You can't kill me. Now I want to play the original again. Maybe the Sega version of this. I don't know if it's the Mega Drive or the Master System. I have no idea. But it's one of the Sega consoles. Okay, let's beat let's let's get over with this. Let's get the let's get that over with. Oh, the girls. Okay. Yeah. The girls and the boy. Ooh. Still dead. Look at look at Chris in the background. Look at alone, you bully. Oh shit. Idiot. Leave her alone, you bully. Don't hit me. Oh, shit. How much hell do you have? Okay. Don't mind if I do. Now we need a cool phrase to kill him. A cool catchphrase, and I know what it that be. Not interested. <laughs> That's it, I win. Everybody get out. It's time it's time to sleep. It's time to sleep. Okay, so I guess the, um, the anniversary is over, I guess. I win. Time to sleep. <laughs> I really like this game. I really like Resident Evil 1. Even it's the, the original one or the remake, whatever. I really like this version. I did it. So that's it, I'm gone. Nice, it's been, it's hard to believe, I mean, it's what like, it was 8 and it was 9, so I'm a little bit late for reasons, but whatever. It's hard to believe, now jokes aside, everything aside, it's hard to believe that a year just passed. I don't know, it feels weird. The older you get, the faster the time passes. That's true. That's that's something reality. When I was a kid, it feels like forever for a year. Now it feels like... I don't know, time flies. Just use your time wisely, I guess. And it feels faster when you have a routine. That's something I've been saying recently a lot. It, it really feels like when you have a routine and doing something daily and such. Time flies. And... Yo, since I started streaming six months ago, because six months ago, yes. Time flies, and that's cool. I mean, it's cool, depends. If you use, if you use your time wisely, it's cool. <laughs> if you don't use your time wisely, that's not that cool. But yeah, I mean, it's... 
I'm still gonna hang out over here streaming, I guess. I need to... I have a contract, like... <laughs> yeah, call it whatever you want. I want to stream, like, the Kiryu games, you know that. So I just... I'll be here at least until Kiwami 2. And I get Yakuza 5, then, the, you know the thing, you know, you know the deal. Yakuza... I need one to fight Damon and that, so they, I'm still gonna be here for a while, I guess. Unless I just wake up and said, Enough. <laughs> Enough of this. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, it's funny, like, my first ever stream is... Like, half a year since I created this channel, that's really cool. Maybe I'm the chosen one. <laughs> nah. I just have nobody here. Chris, you did a fine job. Three hours, 32 minutes. Oh, I did, it, it was longer with Jill. The thing is, I didn't die with... I died with Jill, so... Yeah. It, guess what? If you die, it takes longer. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a surprise. So, yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, I, I did all of this. I, no, I, don't, I have no plans. Like... The other plan was the Monster Hunter stream, just to destroy this Lunar Nargakuga monster that I have like this vendetta for 10 years. I never beat that guy in, in in 3 Ultimate, so I have this personal vendetta against that, but I guess I won't do that, like, I think not, maybe, I don't know, depends how I feel. My personal vendetta against this Panther Moon creature. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's it. That's the... Um, that's the game, that's the anniversary special. Cool, not the cool noise. Now... Will there ever be as... Two years in my first ever, first ever stream? I have no... I, I don't know, man. I don't even know what I'll do tomorrow. Well, yes, play Dead Souls, that I always do. <laughs> but you know, I, I don't know, time will tell. As I said, maybe I just... And the thing is, I'm getting attached to this, it's fun, it's a good routine breaker, and I honestly believe it's working the... This thing I said, I speak English to improve English, which... that That's why I started here, that's why I did the stream. Because I had this proficiency test to get a B2 in English, and I said, okay, let's practice. The, funny enough, the test was in February, and I played this in, in August, like... August 8th was the first ever stream. And the plan was played through August to February to practice. When I don't when I was done with Resident Evil, then my next stream was like November with Monster Hunter 1. <laughs> I played I have two streams, I had enough, and I said, okay. I don't like this game. I don't like Monster Hunter 1. <laughs> it's way too tough. It's it's really uncomfortable to play. Then in general, I did the um, director's cut, Resident Evil 1 director's cut with Jill and Chris, of course. And then February 10th was when I started. Like two weeks later, like one week or two weeks later after I started to stream, daily quote unquote, was when I got the test. Good news is I passed, I got the, the title, so I'm happy for that. Bad news is like, you have notes, and you can see... Speaking is the lowest, like, it's at the limit at B2. It's the lowest of the lowest. Everything is kind of high, so I'm kind of happy for that, but speaking is like, woof. That's really low. <laughs> and I feel I improve ever since February. I have this... I download the video of my first ever stream, like this... You know, the first one with Chris, but I'm not in the mood to watch it right now. I feel like... I don't want to go to sleep at four in the morning, okay? That's the thing. I don't want to have a, I don't want to repeat the tragedy of yesterday. That's all that's all I ask, so I'm gonna get out here now. I'm happy of what happened. I'm happy of the playthrough, I'm happy of the playthroughs, I'm happy of the of the game. I, I really like this game, that's it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck right up right now. I guess I'm gonna sleep. I guess, I have no clue. 
I mean, I, it's, I mean, it's like three in the morning almost. So I guess I'm going to sleep. That's, there's no other thing to do right now. So that's it. No more special stuff like... Yeah, the, the biggest special thing is the Monster Hunter thing with I want to do because I don't even know. Who cares? Like, who the fuck even cares? I can say the same for every single stream, but... Yeah. I mean, probably the other biggest special thing is the Red Dead Redemption thing. Which is basically play the game. <laughs> That's the special. That's the break between Jakusas. Listen, no one gives a shit about, about what I'm talking about. Like, there's no one here, so I don't even care. This is... This is speaking Glesco to improve in Glesco, and I'm an out because I need sleep. <laughs> okay, that's it. Cuyo, um, I know you're not, you're not here. You went to sleep a long time ago. Thanks for watching, dude. I'm re really nice of you. Really kind. And that's it. Back to the normal schedule tomorrow with Dead Souls. Yahoo!